Okay, guys, I'm here with uh, Ben Parker, Jen Handorf, uh, writer, director, and producer of The Chamber, uh, a very claustrophobic and atmospheric little film. But can you, first of all, t uh, give us a sort of brief rundown of how you would describe it to somebody in, say, 15 seconds or less? Oh, 15 seconds. Uh, ten. Ten. It's, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, about uh, a, a small submersible mm -hmm. off the coast of Korea, it's starting off in South Korea and then going over the border into North Korea which is obviously a dicey area. Mm -hmm. uh, some US special ops guys take over a, a commercial submersible to look for something at the bottom of the ocean. We don't know what, nobody knows what, but it's something, you know, there's some sort of nefarious deeds going on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, trouble ensues <laughs> with the submarine, it gets stricken and there's no rescue because they're on an off, off the books mission. Excellent, so uh, a bit of a political subtext going on as well, yeah. but with the very, very intense scenes that take place within the submarine, mm. um, there's water filling up, time is running out, yeah. the sort of Damocles is hanging over everybody. Yeah. So why, Jen, would you approve a film that's <laughs> shot in a submarine underwater? Because the logistical challenges alone must have been phenomenal. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it seemed like a good idea at the time, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know what? It's be ben and I had worked together on a short film previously, and we'd been developing a script together yeah. as well. And um, that was taking longer than we'd like. Ben, ben pitched me this idea, and mm -hmm. I thought, you know what? That sounds that sounds awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go play on the bottom of the ocean. Brilliant. <laughs> and uh, and then you know you sort of you come across all the trials and tribulations as you go. But yeah. hopefully by then you're in you're you're in too deep, so to speak. <laughs> and, um, There'll be and plenty just, of uh, nautical puns. And yeah, yeah, we've got loads of them. Excellent. So, yeah, Excellent. Absolutely. So did you use a setup that was maybe similar to James Cameron's The Abyss when you shot in a large tank or something like that? Mm. Yeah, there's there's sort of two ways of doing this. You can you can make a set that lowers in into a tank, mm -hmm. uh, they, they do that regularly at Pinewood. Uh, what they did on the Abyss was they filled a giant tank and right. built a set down at the bottom. Ours was obviously a lot smaller, we have mm -hmm. a very small set, but in the same way we built a giant building, uh, sort of a giant house mm -hmm. uh, of a tank from the ground up and then put the set inside it so that we could fill the set up with water and then you know drain it and fill it and drain it and fill it. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So it's a big mm. undertaking. <laughs> with, with so many people in such a confined space, how did you manage to keep morale of it? Was it a four week shoot, is that correct? Yes, four yeah, weeks. Yeah, less than four weeks. Um, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it was uh, tw 21, 21, 22 days. 22, yeah. okay. And um, you guys, we heard a lot of singing coming from the tank. Those of us outside the walls yeah. of There's the a, tank. There were some, there were some singers on, right. the, on the set and uh, I think that, I mean, being in that small space for such a long time you really do go stir crazy mm -hmm. we shot it in sequence we shot it in in the order right and so every every day you get a little bit more crazier mm -hmm. and you really need to let off steam so there was people singing between takes and playing jokes on people Brilliant. just to, to try and get their the, the morale up. Well, shooting in sequence really seems to have benefited the film because mm. as you approach that sort of 70, 80 minute mark, mm. you can see the looks on the characters' faces. Get that me out of here. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it, which is exactly what you want because yeah. that transfers to an audience yeah, yeah. as well, yeah. which is fantastic. So um, just before I go, I mean, one overriding question. Um, how did you manage the toilet breaks? <laughs> Very difficultly, yeah. Um, everybody was in How wet suits. How did you suits. manage the toilet breaks? <laughs> yeah, I, I was saying, you know, it's you know dehydration, the reason that we didn't go to the loo for like five hours straight. But well, I, I don't know, some people were definitely peeing in that pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It adds to the effect, you know, it adds to the whole atmosphere of the film. And thus the true horror comes <laughs> yeah, out. Exactly. Ben Parker, Jen Hunter, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very yeah, much. Nice, nice to see you. Cheers.